Hi, everybody. I was over on a different screen. Hello, good morning. How is everybody? Hello, hello. hello. Esther, Lucy, and Sharon, I see. Hi. Oninya is about to join. She just slacked hello. to see if we were doing this. There she is. They are here. Yes. So, ah, and there's Angelique. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you back, that's for sure. Um, so we're waiting for Cynthia, is that her we're missing? Oh, maybe Cynthia's here. Okay, different lists have different people. I think we're all here. Um, so how's everybody doing? You're all muted, I think you know. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You put it right here. I'm good too. I'm fine. How are you doing? Very well. Does anybody have any particular issues they want to discuss or would you like Angelique to just expound for you? Hi. I have, I have no issues. I don't know if anyone else does. It looked like I only briefly, now in the Friday session, you guys were going over ways to find sample code for these steps, is that right? Yes, yes, that's right. And did you get far enough? Do you all feel like you can? I saw Cynthia found some. I saw that go by this weekend. Um. Um. No, I don't think we did that. We were supposed to. I think Mark mentioned something about um, someone showing us how we could get code examples, but what we did last Friday was uh, basically um, going through how to add online help. How to do what? I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't get your question. Ah. Angelique, and you were you in on that Friday meeting some? Did I see you on that? No, I was not. Uh, oh, okay. okay. It's not the good hour for me. <laughs> no, it's all. not a good hour for you at all. You weren't expected to be there. Um, so. Yeah, Meg, Meg what uh, Esther said is actually right. Uh, Mark said um, this morning, that's today, um, that he was going to, or maybe someone else, or going to show us how easily we can get um, pipeline examples, pipeline step examples, yes. So oh, okay. Yes. I know a little, Angelique, you probably know more, right? Uh, I was not there on Friday, so it's not 
<laughs> easy uh, to take the following. Like, I, I, wasn't to... e I wasn't either. But basically um, what they're up against is they're the our users are asking for more examples on all of these steps. Mm -hmm. And so they're wondering where where can they find code examples? What I usually do is trying to make it work fine. And then <laughs> I use it as example for other. But uh, I don't know if the purpose was to find existing pipelines or to create example. Um, I think, yeah, there was, um, there was, where is it? It's, I'm looking over in another. Because if we know that we work in one plugin, I mean, we can create a pipeline on Jenkins with all the option that we see, make it works. And then this is the example. Um, does that make sense to everybody? Would you like to see her run through it or? Yes, yes, ah. yes. And we did have, Mark had sent a link for a place where there were a bunch of examples. I don't know how good they are. Angelique, could we impose on you to run through on something? What do you want me to do? Um, Sorry, to I, go through how you'd put together a, a code example for a, for one of the steps. We can try. Um, and while if you'll do that, I'll go see if I can find the link that Mark posted where you might find where you might find some stuff. I have never used Zoom to to share my screen, so it it will be okay. A, hopefully, a it, <laughs> it should work for you. But yeah. Um, I can. Can I share all my screen? Just got uh, one. Like this. Um. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Let me run a Jenkins. Yes, I know. I was working on something else, so I need to stop it. Um, <laughs> no, no, not this one. Okay. So I have a Jenkins now and uh, what we want to do is have a pipeline, I guess. And then this is it. Uh, you all know that we can have a pipeline script from Git or something like that, or write it. Yes. Uh, now, I think that everybody has done something like having a simple pipeline. Right. That all looks that looks familiar to everybody. And then, because 
if you if you go on the maybe I, I'm I went too fast, but if you you go on this link pipeline syntax, uh, you can generate pipeline. For example, uh, with archive act artifact. Uh, I think we were talking about that on Slack uh, on Friday. I can, I don't know, have everything exclude. Uh, and archive wars, maybe you do generate and you have something like that. So How do you know what's what is useful to request in there and stuff if you're doing examples? Yeah. In the fields or right. I mean when you're when you're filling in the things like okay, so you choose to exclude the wars. Um uh, there, there is the current help, which is the file that uh, we are changing in right. some PR. So um, I, this one, we, we discuss it on Friday with, uh, I don't remember which one, uh, one of the participants. If you have the plugin installed in Jenkins, you should have the, the samples in this, uh, syntax help. So. Archive Act artifact is on it's on the Jenkins core, so I have no plugin to install. It's already there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, can I try one? I don't know at all. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's an empty Jenkins, so there is not much. Right. Try, Henry. Yes, please tell me, I, I don't hear well. Okay, so um, sometimes um, or most times, basically the challenge we have uh, like uh, Meg asks is um, the, the these arguments before you generate, because before you're able to generate the pipe script, the pipeline script, you need to know the arguments, the right arguments to pass. Yes, that's the challenge. So how do we overcome that? Mm. The only way is to understand what the plugin is feature is. I mean, uh... um, Angelique, since you're sharing, I put a link in chat where Mark says we might find some examples. In Slack or? I'm sorry, not in Slack, in the chat for in this. In the chat. Yes. Uh, there is apparently a, a, repo, a Git repo of pipeline examples. Oh, it's here. Yes. I have not looked at it. Um, it's funny because there is Jenkins file and pipeline, and pipeline are Jenkins file, so I don't know why. Um, how about declarative examples? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I always think about Jenkins files, too. Right. General pipeline. There was up in the, okay. the list. Up in the list, the first one is declarative examples. Um, this one, I don't know it at all. Groovy. Okay, so pipeline is. I think we are looking for um, more declarative, no? Yes, I, we're, I think we're heavily for declarative. Android, good favor. Where? Hmm. 
this is not very helping because it's just bat or script shell. It's not really steps. Right. Um, <laughs> steps. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it's oh, a declarative example. Uh, Artifact. Uh, it's empty. Okay. So I wonder if this is the same thing that one gets um, in the the pipeline syntax stuff that gets uh, that you get on your dashboard when you're looking and there's a thing of examples. Mm. Let me. I don't know. Let me look and see. Oh. Um, where do, do we want to put this example? Is it on the online help or? Yes, I think they want to put it in okay. the in the steps reference where people would go. So let me. Da, 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 we go. So that's something that uh, Daniel Beck raised on Friday too. Um, we have to be careful on how we explain stuff because this online help is both for freestyle job and for pipeline. Right, and both. So and if we, that. yes, if if we if we put an example of pipeline, we have to say, uh, here is an example you can use in pipeline or Jenkins file, something like that. We right. need to prefix somehow because it's the same. Um, Right, and this what's in this uh, this Git repo looks just at a glance. It looks like it might be the same thing that you get for pipeline examples when you're on the dashboard, but yeah, it does not have a whole lot. Um, and there, if I just finished for the, uh, I think you see archive artifact is also here. So if we change the, the help. I think it's going to change here too. Ah. For example, if we change this uh, online help with right. a pipeline example, we need to say, if you use pipeline, you can use this example because it's also um, display on the freestyle UI. Right. And now, and I'm looking, the pipeline examples are, oh, this is fun. Uh, let's see, going through, they look like they are all scripted. Mm. Um, what is great with the pipeline syntax link? It's that it's on the Jenkins itself and it's generated from the source, from the code source. So it's, <laughs> you know, it's uh, um, it's the current status of the plugin or. Right. Ah, the formatted version of these examples might be, um, You are still on the pipeline example, right? What I what I do see there, <laughs> they're they're all scripted. They're not freestyle. They're not ah, declarative. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, but what I see is that we have a little explanation. Um, Of, of what we've got. The JSON data is created by calling methods annotated with addicts. Oh, okay. What, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this kind of uh, repository because the, the code evolve and often the documentation does not move with the code. Right. 
Um, right. So it's true now, but in six months it will be um, outdated, you know. Right, but but on the other hand, without examples, I mean, mm. if we look at the common people want, I mean, maybe we need to get better at maintaining these things too. Um, so well, gee, as Mark keeps telling you guys, we're all learning this together, right? We knew this was a mess. <laughs> have Have uh, any of you tried posting to the um, to the chat group to see if anybody would would volunteer examples in the guitar? Oh, right, right. Everybody's muted. Nobody's well, jumping. Yeah. <laughs> So we haven't. I haven't, but so. But so uh, I've been also trying to Google online. Um, some people would like have written some articles, and so I've been trying to get examples from those. Ah, have you had any luck? Yeah. Uh, like for how to achieve multiple artifacts. So I was. Like I was googling, trying to understand what, um, what is actually what's even that, and then I got some examples. Even um, uh, you find that people um even ask the question on Stack Overflow, and they provided some examples. Aha! Uh -huh. So you've had more success than the than anybody else. Um, do you want to try sharing your screen and show us what you've got? Or can you share? Do you have enough internet to share? Uh, yeah, okay. I'll have to change because I'm currently using my phone. Oh, okay. And yeah, but, but sorry, would you want me to share like the examples I found? Yeah, and... show us what, what you Googled and what you found. and. Um... Okay, okay. Let me do that. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, so I was, uh, there was an issue that someone was asking how to achieve multiple artifacts. So I Googled and these are some of the articles I saw. Like this person was, um, was giving an explanation on how to save multiple artifacts from specific folder. Uh -huh. So yeah, just going through this helped me to understand how this works. Also, there's this problem, the same issue that was asked on Stack Overflow. And this was the answer that they've given the person. Ah. Yeah. So it, it's probably that someone asked the question on Stack Overflow, or there's an article that has been written to solve that kind of issue. Right. So that's what I did. And and yeah. it's a good source because you know it's something that somebody wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That also confirms that, yeah, the issue actually, they, they need to, they, there's a need of a solution. Right. Yeah. Good, good. So you got 
Um, what are, I lost track. Um, what other, what steps are the rest of you working on? Um, for me, I was, well, I can stop sharing, right? Ah, uh, sure. Or, well, maybe, or do you want to stop sharing or do you want to do it? Oh, uh, oh, wait. What do I have to do? Was, I was oh, just... I was just going to say if somebody else wanted to say a step they were having, we could go and look and see what we might find for them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so I'm supposed to contribute for the first time. But now I've created the issue, but I don't know how to go ahead. Okay, which uh, which step are you working on, or which plugin? The workspace work, workspace cleanup. Okay, Cynthia, do you want to try googling for that since you're up there? What's the name again? Work, workspace cleanup. Or or okay. Cynthia Cynthia worked on something like this. On Jenkins, you can explain for me. Oh, so this one, right? There it is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the issue is you've already created the issue on Jira, and you don't know how to go about it. Yeah, I've created the issue. Okay. So, uh, so you're adding an online help, right? Yes. Okay. So, so then the next step would be to uh, fork the. So if you come here, so you're going to get this uh, re repository for this plugin, and then okay. you you have to fork it. Yes. So if you uh, fork it, then you you clone it uh, using this link, and then you add it in your in your you add it locally. So the next step then will be uh, then you have to look for an argument that's missing on line help. I feel like most of them misses on line help. So you have to maybe if you want to do this clean when aborted so you you have to so maybe okay should i do the because i feel like it's going to be long but then maybe let me try to see this one i was working on um so if you or maybe let me use git i feel like that could be a better example so let's um, let me use the Git plugin just to show you how to do that. Okay. Okay. So so the Git plugin already um, has the online help. But then maybe you want to add to this um, argument. So you have to come to this Git plugin. And then, um, so, so then open this SLC folder. And then you come to the Java. Try to first look where the argument is. Okay. Yeah? I'm not sure you're sharing your full screen. Like oh, you can see this. Oh, yes. oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let me. Okay. So you can see this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so trying to look, uh, oh, oh, I have many things. Let me see. I have to go the Git plugin. Okay, 
Okay, so we want to add an online help to this maybe uh, argument. So we have to first look at where the argument is in the in this Java folder. Well, it's a long process, but anyways. Uh, yeah. uh, but actually I can do like a, a global search. Let me see. Um uh, maybe something like you uh, yeah. So if I trying to look where the okay revision parameter okay it's in so if you if you see here it's in uh, resources Jenkins plugins git git step so if you come to this Java you have to look for somewhere called git step and then you see this argument. The argument it's in this folder called git step. And now to add an online help, you come here to resources and then look for that the the, the git step. Okay. Maybe it's in okay. So it's in this um, Jenkins git step. And then that's where you find this URL. So if you see, this is the same thing that's written here. Okay, this is the same thing that's written here. So yeah, so this is the same thing that's written here. So this is what you have to do, adding online help to some arguments that, that are missing them. I don't know if that helps. Okay, thank you. At least I'll get an hint. Okay. The, I don't know if you saw, but the you need to search for the Java source file, which is in SRC main Java. And then the HTML5 is on SRC resources and the same path. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to for the arguments, it can be fine in this Java, and then to add an online help, you have to come in these resources. Um, just Cynthia, I, I see that you are using IntelliJ. If you want to search across the project, you can use uh, Shift Shift. It should display the search. Oh, Shift okay. Shift. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's very, very okay, useful so when you're yeah. using this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I think that's it. Um, Sharon. Um, I would also yes, um, just like um, you saw what I did. It, uh, it could actually clone. Now, this Git uh, plugin is complete because Mark said he has been the one working on it. So you could use this um, as a reference. Yeah. You clone, you clone the repo and walk through the, the folders, the source code, and also see what is happening on the help. So with that, it, it could help you with the own plugin when you're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, also, also remember to create a, a branch before adding your online help. Okay.
We are past should time. I'm fine to stay on, but if anybody needs to go. I will be watching Slack. I, I'm very active on Slack, so if you have any question, uh, you can use it. I will be there. I'm less on Gitter. I'm not used to Gitter, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I forget to go over there myself, yes. Um, And, uh, but is, I guess if you are like blocked, if you have any question, there is no no dummy question. There is no uh, everything can be asked. So yes, but it doesn't uh, like get or like uh, Google is our key and looking to, especially for stuff on Stackflow, right? Or some other tutorials that people might have posted yeah. for, to get some code examples. Yeah. yeah. So. So does that help everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you want to call it the end of a meeting or shall we? Would you like that? Does anybody have any other questions before we go? No? Well, off. Have a wonderful Monday, a good week. And yeah, anything that comes up, ping on Slack and we'll be there. Um, I will say for the Gitter channel, the one thing is you might find there's a whole huge community of Jenkins people who aren't on the She Codes Africa Slack channel. So that is another place that you could always post. But, uh, but for all of us, we'll be watching Slack. So. All uh, right. Okay. Um, Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good week and we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Angelique, for coming. <laughs> thanks, Mary. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks Angelique, happy. everybody. You guys are doing great. Thanks, Cynthia. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs>